Welcome friends. So far we have seen how to fetch and how to fetch all and what is the difference between fetch and pull. In this video we will learn about how to prune the branches. So prune is similar to uh, how we prune our branches in our real uh, plants or trees. So uh, pruning means uh, removing the branches those are no more existing uh, on the web repository. So to understand this concept, we know that we have uh, this repository checked out here and this repository, repository is for user one and we uh, now create a new branch here. Um, create new branch here. Let's name this branch help branch so it has created a new branch and as we can see we are currently at help branch so master help and bitbucket master and github master all are having the same code right now but we are going to make changes and that changes will appear in help branch because we are right now in help branch so let's move to our visual studio code and in visual studio code we can see that we are currently working on help branch it's right down here which is showing you on which branch on git you are currently working on so let's create a new uh, file here called helper java so it has automatically created the class construct for me and i just want to add a static method here that will be public and i will call it print help and here i can simply print help so help about git project or something like this so i added a new file and here i am trying to use this class method saved it and now helper is resolved and let's try to run this and quickly see if it compiles and runs so it is compiling and it is producing this output there is a typo we can fix it and we can again run this program and check that it is working fine now so we are ready to check in we can see there are two commits because it's giving us the number two in between the brackets so these are the two changes which we need to commit one is that helper.java file is a new file we need to add this file and there is an edit in git concepts.java that is this line we can uh, stage these files one by one using this stage button or we can stage all these two files using this stage all button so we see that all the files are staged here and we are ready to commit and we can write a meaningful message adding a message to project so we will commit it And we will push it to Bitbucket. And then we will push it to GitHub also. Now we see that we have created a help branch that is available on GitHub and Bitbucket both. 
but this user Ankit Srivastava has created this branch. Now let's switch to the user 2 and user 2 is this one. This user still does not know about that branch. So what we need to do in order to know what has changed while we are working as a user 2, we need to do fetch all. So you see that it is fetching first github and then it is fetching bitbucket. So fetch all means fetch all the repositories those are listed inside the remote. And we see that this new branch is now present here github and bitbucket that is known as help branch. We don't see a red uh, help branch here. This is important to understand because we have not yet checked out this branch on our local as user k user 2 that's why there is no local instance of this branch on our local system for this user k user 2 that is why we don't see a red marker for help branch here once we check out this branch there will be a new red mark here like this which will say help branch so how did we uh, know about this uh, new branch? We use the feature fetch all. Yeah. Now let's go back to the user one, which is this repository. And suppose this user wants to delete this branch. So in order to delete the branch, you need to be on another branch because uh, you cannot delete, you are not allowed to delete the branch on which you are currently working on. So, in order to switch the branch, what you can do, you can do two things. One of the option is that you select master from here. Another option is use, uh, say, checkout branch and master. So as we see that these letters are bold, this signifies that we are right now on this bold branch that is called master. Now we are ready to delete this help branch. We can delete this help branch like this, delete branch, help branch. So this is the local branch, we are deleting it. Now we are deleting the branch from GitHub And let's leave the branch on Bitbucket for now. Now let's switch to the user2. User2 repository is this one. This repository still does not know whether the branches are still existing or not. In order to know what has been changed, again what we need to do is fetch all. So it has fetched everything and showing us the commit history. But we know that user1 has deleted the branch from GitHub. So in order to remove the deleted branch, what feature we need to use is fetch and prune all. So what prune will do, prune will delete the branches uh, heads from our commit history, which are actually deleted from the repository. Let's try to use it. So you can see that it is uh, uh, executing this command git fetch progress all with a switch prune and what prune is doing it is deleting this branch github help branch because the user one has deleted this branch and this branch is no more existing on github and that is why it has deleted it. So we only uh, have this branch on bitbucket right now. Let's switch to the user one again and try to delete this branch from Bitbucket also. So 
it is deleted now we have only master branch that is available on both of the repositories and let's go back to the user 2 user 2 repository is here this repository still does not know that this uh, branch has been deleted or whatever branches have been deleted or added so in order to know that we can say fetch and prune all so we can see here in the execution history that this bit bucket help branch has been deleted from here because it was deleted from user 1 and it is no more existing on the web so this is the use of feature prune hope you understand it if you don't understand it you can ask your doubts and comments in the comment section below happy getting until then please like and subscribe the video if you like the videos see you next time